Hello everyone, this is Lolly back from Creativation, and I want to share with you a class that I took while I was there, and it's from Ranger and Ice Resin Companies, Jewelry Expressions Necklace, by Susan Leonard Kazmar, Kazmar and Debbie, I don't know how to pronounce it, T-L-A-C-H. So this is the necklace, and as you can see, it's pretty long, especially considering this piece right here, if you see the size of it right there, it gets to be a very long necklace. And so in class, we made this necklace here and made this piece, which is called the shield. And then we made all the pieces, but we didn't assemble them. Um, one of the issues is that when you do these, they, ha they take six hours to cure. And so then you <laughs> how do you walk out of class holding this straight? You can't let it you can't let it tip sideways. So I left mine in the class overnight, which is kind of risky because the room doesn't get locked and if anyone comes in there and sees your work and wants it, they might just take it. Well, I took my chances because I had a um another meeting I had to go to and I couldn't carry it around. So I want to show you a little close up what that looks like. And this is um uh tissue paper with stamping on it and then ice resin and the this um they made the domes for us and so this is supposed to hook underneath that and then let me get the next piece out we also made so we're using several different pro products so then we made this was like a big resin sort of plasticky lock which she made by putting a real lock down into a mold and then this is how you suspend that from this piece and then suspended down the bottom from this piece is this really amazing clay i'll have to look it up on the sheet well that that's what it looks like we made a heart a heart shape put a ring down in it and then colored it but i want to see what that clay was called because it was something like i've never worked with before quick cure clay you just mold it up and you know shape it how you want it and then you just heat it with like an embossing heat gun and you just kind of hold the heat gun in one spot and then once it's you see it changes slight color and it, it heats up and finishes all the way and, and it's you can see it's really hard so um the question is will i suspend all of these things from my necklace and the answer is no i don't think so and the reason is um this is already pretty long. It's probably about like a 20 inch um, cord plus this. It hangs pretty low on my neck anyway. And what I know about myself <laughs> is that I am very clumsy. I'm fast and I'm clumsy. I am constantly on the go and just moving too fast. And I'm constantly, um, I break jewelry so easily because I bend over, I stand up, and I, I'm always moving around so fast that my if I have a long necklace, it catches on things and breaks. And so even at Creativation, I broke the necklace I was wearing. I was wearing a long necklace. I bent over really fast, stood up really fast, and it caught on the handle of my rolling backpack. Um, <clears throat> but that said, I don't even know if I'm going to hang this there or not. Um, I'm thinking about that. It's still rather long, but I think I might make do something else with this and maybe these two together. I'm not really sure because this is one particular style. Um, and what she had us using is ice resin jewelry wires, and I want to show these to you. They come in this pack. They're varying lengths. They look like little sticks, but they're actually metal, and they're very jaggedy, and they work really well with... Um, kind of vintage looking pieces like this and all you do is just wrap them around so I hook these through the um the o-rings here and then just you, you fold it around and just twist it around the one stick and so that's what you could do for something like this when you can see you really can't get a jump ring in there because it's it's too far so you would use one of these there's different sizes you could use something like this bend it down like that and then twist this end around the other stick and then that's how you can put these together. So that's what we did in class. And um, they gave us distress glaze. And I'm pulling these all out. They gave us patina. And, and I got verdigris and onyx. And then they gave us ice resin luster, which I got in Pacific Ocean. So many of these classes, what they do... Oh, and one more thing. I got the... 
leather adhesive and that's what you glue to leather. One of the things in class is like everybody gets certain things, but then usually what you do, see how it says kit A, the person next to me would have kit B. And so what he would have, and it was a, it was a gentleman, and he did a really great job. So we got iced enamels, glitter shards, and iced enamels, two iced enamels. They're kind of like embossing powder. So um, we each, and we each got all these different colors, and his kit was a different one. So we put all of this material in between us and shared them so we could use whatever colors we want, and then we took ours home afterwards. Or you could barter with your um, partner, like um, the glass shards. I had the ones that were kind of an aqua color, and I he was bringing his stuff home for his wife, and I said, just so you know, I already have the aqua. I'd be more than happy to have them again, but if you'd like to take them to your wife, I'll just take the silver. And we had a stencil so that we could cut out the shapes to put inside the shield. So, you know, there were all these little goodies here and there that we ended up taking home. Um, really lovely project. Oh, and they also gave us a ranger apron. Now, because I ended up taking two ranger classes, which was a kind of a last minute deal, I didn't even realize I got into the other one. I ended up with two ranger aprons, and these are really nice. Ranger 90th anniversary and it's got pockets on the front so it's a nice sturdy canvas apron and since I already got one from my one class I thought I would do a giveaway on my channel for this one so if you have stuck around to the end and you were interested in uh, entering a giveaway for this apron then leave a comment down below uh, it is open to U.S. only, um, just because it, I have been spending a lot on shipping for all of my giveaways. I don't know if you realize my giveaways have not been sponsored by other companies unless stated, which has only been maybe once. And um, so my shipping has been really excessive in the past year, and I'd like to curb that back a little bit. So U.S. only, leave a comment and state what, if you're in the U.S., tell me what state you're in. And then I will enter you for this giveaway. And then, uh, let's see, what is today, 24th? I will draw a name on Monday the 28th. Random uh, comment picker. Thank you so much for watching.